So, I'm um, coming to Worth International. I want to see if they um, publish any books about Mexico. Uh, I used to work there at one time, so I'm interested in seeing if it's the same ownership or not. So I, I go to About Us, and this kind of uh, weird Rorschach test c comes up. Um, I'm not sure what the symbol is, but... Um, Oh, now that I look at it, I kind of get it that these are people's heads um, here, but I didn't get that uh, right away. There's an arrow here, so I'm clicking on the arrow. I'm assuming this is going to take me somewhere, but it, it really doesn't take me somewhere. Um, so I thought, well, here's Mexico, so let's check this out. And... Um, shows me Mexico. Great, they publish stuff about Mexico. I photographed uh, some stuff in Mexico and I want to sell those photographs, so um, it doesn't tell me anything else about the magazine. So uh, I see that there's some arrows here that are meant to do something. The, the, uh, the music's starting to get on my nerves now. Um, so I'm getting very frustrated because I can't find the information I'm looking for, so I'm going to mute the music. And hopefully you'll you'll hear me a little bit better. So um, I figure, well, let's contact the company and see. Uh, we'll call them and get some information. Unfortunately, the contact page comes up with the name of the company and no contact information here. So um, this is a Flash site. And um, one of the mistakes of designing in Flash is that it doesn't work on everybody's computer the same way or as expected very often as you can see here but the bigger problem with flash is that Google can't read a flash site when Google comes to index this page they can't read any of the type that's on the page unfortunately there's no type that comes up but um, you know you would want Google to find them under travel magazines or publishing or media or Maybe somebody's looking for some of these magazines and they want to advertise in these magazines. Um, they would not; these magazines would not come up as keywords in a Google search. So, um, having the website in Flash, it may look kind of pretty, but all this site—I didn't get the information I wanted. I—I I can't see if if it's still owned by the people who owned it when I worked there. Um, I can't contact the company um, I can't find out anything about the magazine on Mexico so as you can see as I start to click on things the uh, the contact page is stuck there so we have to close it manually so um, this this site is uh, has some usability problems uh, even within the flash environment it has some performance issues that are quite serious um, the thing that people really want to know is about you and how to contact you. Let's just quickly check out some of the other pages, the functionality. Well, we have a very impressive uh, client list. I'm not sure how these people would be clients. I guess these might be advertisers. Um, it's very impressive names, but I, I'm not quite sure what the relationship would be to the magazine. I'm just going to click on another magazine. This one also has functionality issues. Uh, looks like something's supposed to come up, but it's not. So we have uh, a few functionality problems here. So this shows you the, the issues that can come. Now, somebody with a faster download may have gotten this information, but in terms of Flash, Flash design... Uh, Flash is a movie. It's a it's one piece of media, so it really has nothing to do with my download. Um, it has nothing to do with my browser. These issues are completely within the Flash, um, the Flash document itself. So that's a review of uh, Worth International.